Hello techies. Welcome to our brand new video series focused on helping you get the most of your experiences in life. Before we start the video, let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. And what happened in the notifications? It was for your information only. Got it. That is the difference between a notification object and an inbox object. Right. Then on the top right, you see the picture of the worker, or if there is no picture, it will be a cloud, a blue cloud picture. If that is a default. Okay. So here you have some other options as well. The home button. Here also you have the home button. This home button is the same as the workday icon on the top left. Both are the same. If I click on the home button, it will again take me back to the home screen. Okay. It took me back to the home screen. It is again placed here. As remember, in workday, there are more than one ways of doing the same thing. Right. There are many different ways of doing it. Okay. So after home, you have the My Account. Well, this is the place where typically, in all, all web-enabled products, you have something called My Account, where you do your password changes, you change your preferences, etc. Etc. Right. If you want to look at your password, challenge question. If you want to look, change your password. So all of that will be in my account. Okay. Click on my account and you will be able to change your account password and you can also be able to change your preferences. Like, let's say, you don't want to view the currency as dollars. You want to view your currency as euros. Okay. So in the preferred currency, you want to view everything as euros instead of dollars. Okay. You want to be in a different time zone? Maybe you want Eastern time zone. By default, it is specific. You want to be in a different time zone? Right. You want to change your language and your country. Okay. You want to have a 12-hour clock or 24-hour clock. You prefer AMPM rather, or maybe you prefer the 24-hour clock. Okay. So you choose amongst these options, and you can also see what is the email address that will be used to send you note. I mean no email notifications, if any. Okay, so you can configure your usage patterns. You can configure your notifications and your preferences as part of the change preferences. Damn. All right. So fresh. Those chains, and you said, we can change the preferred currency. Right. So where do these changes reflect on the landing page? Whenever you're doing some task, let's say that, okay, let me show you here. Let's say, I do Euro. Okay. So this is my preferred currency now. So I want, so it says, sign out and sign back into World Day to apply your preferred currency chain. So if I do this, if I say my preferred currency is Euro, then what will happen? I do not save it. You see, I just discarded the changes. So this is, this change is for me as a user. So for Logan. So now, if I look at a particular task, I am going back to my inbox and let's go back to that compensation for I use. 
Right here we had the compensation change for I use. So instead of US dollars, it will also start showing me the corresponding value in euros. All right. So like, let's say, it says $9,615, but in addition to that it will also start showing me, say 9,000. Okay, I'm just, I don't know the actual conversion rate, but let's say it is around 9,000, and here it will be, let's say, 11,000. Okay. And instead of US dollars, it will be Euro. So, basically, it is what tasks that we do right. Yeah. Whenever you're seeing the data, whenever you're seeing the data, it will also start showing you the data in your preferred currency. Okay. Right. And all the time that you see that. You see, there was a lot of time. Let me erase this and scroll down. You see here, the date and time was there, and if you look at more details, if you click on more details, you will be able to see a lot more information. Okay, and etc. Wherever you see the time, then it will also start showing you in your preferred time zone and your preferred time format. All right. So there it will start showing you in those things as well. So that is where you change your preferences. It's like, let's say, whenever you are using a product, you want to change the theme of your Gmail browser, or maybe you want to change the font size, etc. We do that all the time in our what to say in our Gmail inbox, right? So here also, these preferences are something like that where you are able to change your password, you are able to change your currency, time zone, etc. Okay. Then comes Workbench. This Workbench. This used to be the old look and feel of Workday. If you see some old videos videos that are year or two old, you would have seen this as the landing page. This used to be the old landing page of Workday. At least one year ago, this was the landing page. But now, Workday still retains it. People who are used to it, they may still want to come here and do it. But this is now put in as something called Workbench. Right. You click on this, you are brought to this particular page. Here you have important things like your applications. We will talk about applications in a moment. And you also have your inbox. You see, it's an expanded version of your inbox. It shows you the three most recent tasks waiting for your action. These are the three most recent tasks in your inbox. The first three. Okay. And it also tells you that, okay, you are logged in as Logan McNeil, and this is your employee. ID 21001. Right. Okay. Now let's talk a little bit about the applications, now that we have seen this in your mobile phones. You see, I'm frequently drawing a parallel between Workday and your mobile phones because both are new age products. They share a lot of similarities because that's the way people work these days. Now, even in your, in your mobile phone you have, let's say, you have an app for Facebook. Right. Most of you do have it. Now, using the Facebook app, you can access Facebook. 
Is there any other way you can access Facebook from your phone? You can do it through Safari or sort any other search. Correct. So you can do it using a browser. Right. You as a Fairy or Google Chrome or any other browser. You have. You can use that to access Facebook. Please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. For more information, contact us at sales at the rate